let us understand the purpose of improve phase. In the analyze phase, by analyzing the inputs from data, process, and people, we identify all the root causes of Project Y. In the improve phase, we find out and implement solutions to all those root causes of Project Y. In the improve phase of a Lean Six Sigma project, we do three broad categories of activities. First, we explore solutions for all the root causes by using various techniques. Next, we finalize the solutions by following a structured approach. And finally, we implement the solutions by doing some specific activities to make sure the solutions are effective. Now, let us look at the first task, Explore Solutions. We may utilize the following techniques to explore the solutions for the root causes of a Project Y. Statistical Model Regression Lean Improvement Techniques Benchmarking Brainstorming and creative thinking techniques. Let us look at the first technique, regression. You may recall that in the analyze phase, we understood that the scatter chart and the correlation function are used to verify if there is any correlation between an X and Y. The statistical model regression is used to establish the equation between the x's and the y, such as y is equal to a plus b times x. We take the help of simple linear regression to establish a model between one x and the y. We take the help of multiple linear regression to establish a model between multiple x's and the y. In regression terminology, the independent variable x is also known as the regressor, or predictor, or explanatory variable. And the dependent variable y is also known as regressed, or explained variable. We will now look at the examples for simple and multiple linear regression. Let us look at simple linear regression. Please note, we use simple linear regression to find the relationship between the y and just one x. To find the relationship between y and multiple x's, we use multiple linear regression. Let's say our project y is improve accuracy of financial data to a minimum of 95%. During the analyze phase of the project, we found out that one of the root causes is improper review of the completeness of financial data. Since the review of the data is not proper, it is impacting the overall accuracy of financial data. And here is the data of X and Y. X is the completeness review score and the Y is financial data accuracy. With this data of x and y, we can arrive at the regression equation such as y is equal to a plus b times x. y is the financial data accuracy. x is the completeness review score. We can arrive at the value of a by using this formula. Instead of doing the calculation manually, we may use regression function in MS Excel. After using the regression function in MS Excel, we got the value of A. We can arrive at the value of B by using this formula. Instead of doing the calculation manually, we may use the regression function in MS Excel. After using the regression function in MS Excel, we got the value of B. If we reconstruct the regression equation with these values, the equation becomes this. To achieve the goal of 95% financial data accuracy, we can find out the optimum value of completeness review score. Using this formula, we can find the value of x, the completeness review score, as y minus a divided by b, which is equal to 95.53.
This tells us that the completeness review score to be improved such that it reaches 95.53% in order to achieve the overall financial data accuracy of 95%. This is how we use the regression to estimate the relationship between X and Y so that it helps us to move towards specific solutions for the project Y. Till now, we have learnt about three sources to explore solutions for the root causes. Statistical model regression, five improvement techniques of lean, and the benchmarking. Now we will see the fourth source for exploring the solutions, brainstorming. Let us look into the details of brainstorming that we do in the improved phase of a Lean Six Sigma project. Let us look at the guidelines for effective brainstorming in improved phase. Please note, the focus of brainstorming in the analyze phase is to find the root causes of a project Y. Whereas the purpose of brainstorming in improved phase is to find the solutions for those root causes of the project Y. It is very important to involve all the key stakeholders of the given process in the brainstorming discussions. We should focus on finding the solutions for the root causes of our project Y only. We should avoid getting digressed into discussions on some other problem. As we have seen in the analyze phase, it is better to limit the size of the brainstorming team to a maximum of 10. As per some studies done that suggest, if the size is going beyond 10 people, there would be challenges to manage the communication channels among the people. We should make the discussion environment cordial. One member may be nominated as a facilitator to make the discussion unbiased, organized, and time-bound. We should let every member speak and express his or her viewpoint freely. And we should not reject any viewpoint in this meeting. All these guidelines make the brainstorming discussions very effective. There are two methods or approaches for brainstorming in improve phase. Channeling and brain writing. We may follow any approach to explore solutions for the root causes of our project Y.